Why is this flame blue? And why is this flame red? There's such a difference in color between these two burners. Well, it's a burning question. Let's find out. Hi guys, welcome to part two of the Fire Lab. I'm here again with my friend Sanvi. Hi. And in the last part, we learned that to make a fire, you need three things. Heat, fuel, and oxygen. But wait, if there's no oxygen in space, how does the sun burn? That's a good question. I have no idea. Okay, let's go find out. A few moments later. We learned that the sun burns because of nuclear fusion. When two atoms smash together, it creates a lot of pressure and that pressure creates a lot of heat. That way, there's no need for oxygen. Right. I honestly didn't know that before I googled it. So. Me neither. Yeah, that was an interesting find. So for this experiment, we first, put, we first got three test tubes, one labeled L, C, and S. L for lithium chloride, C for copper chloride, and S for strontium chloride and then we put each of the corresponding chemicals inside the tubes. Then we're going to get some methanol and put 10 milliliters in each tube. So, well, let's start with that. Uh, Sanvi, would you like to do that? Sure. Now it's time for the best part. We have to shake the bottles. Okay. You shake that one and I'll shake these two. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, this is very satisfying. <laughs> so I can see that the copper chloride solution is green. It's like very green. And the other ones are just transparent. So I'm very, in I'm very interested to see the outcome of these. So now that we've mixed the chemicals with methanol, we're going to light them on fire and see what happens. Right, so let's get started. Dip it in here. And yeah. So we're going to put it in the fire and see what, what's the outcome. Whoa. Wow. That's such a cool hot pink color and it's turning blue. It's like blue and red. That's so pretty. I know. That's so cool. Okay. Now for the second chemical solution, the solution that I'm most excited for is the copper chloride solution, which is, it's basically outright green. So I'm really excited for this one. Okay, I'll so. This for you? Okay. Now let me dip the cotton swab in the solution. Okay. So now the cotton swab is green basically. And let me put it in the fire. Wow. wow. It's, it's like the color of the northern lights. It's so cool. It's so pretty. Yeah. Okay, so now it's time for the lithium chloride solution. And we'll see what color it gets. Okay, so let's dip the cotton swab in there. And then we put it in the fire and see what color. Whoa, it's like an orange hot pink color. It's so pretty. Perfect. I know. Honestly, all of these solutions are so cool. It's very interesting. Now that we're done with this experiment, we don't need this fire anymore. So let's blow it out. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> okay. Why those exact colors? It's all about the electrons. Every atom has a nucleus with a bunch of electrons whizzing around it. When these electrons get a jolt of energy from the heat of the flame, they get kicked up to a higher energy level. When they fall back down to their original state, energy is released in the form of light. The color of this light depends on how much energy is released. This is different for different chemicals. That color is a unique signature, like a flag that says, I'm strontium or I'm copper. I don't, I don't know, I don't understand. How does the sun produce heat? Or, oh my god. How does the sun burn? 